Who are some celebrities that give you bad vibes? Any celebrity that is a member of Scientology. Christian Bale said he based his performance as Patrick Bateman in American Psycho on the impression he got of Tom Cruise after meeting him. Really makes you think about what Tom Cruise must be like. Elizabeth Moss. Something about her starring in a cult show while still being a cult member and defending it doesn't sit right with me. Jared Leto does not seem to be going in a good direction. Can't wait to revis this thread in 18 months. DJ Khaled. There's nothing authentic and down-to-earth about him it's all an image and it was made obvious when the whole Tyler the Creator number one album thing came out, the industry might love him but he's an egomaniac who thrives off others' success. Nick Cannon. Joel Osteen. That fake-ass smile, the way he moves, never mind what he's trying to sell. He's a fucking backstabbing predator. Every time I see that man's face I have the overwhelming urge to punch it with a brick. Dr. Phil. He's not even a doctor he just stirs the pot and exploits people. Gwyneth Paltrow Goop is a terrible modern-day snake oil cure all elixir company. But no, buy my overpriced unhealthy vagina eggs that every doctor will tell you not to use. Hey do you want these stickers that astronauts use that don't do anything at all for $120? Gwyneth Paltrow makes me uncomfortable. Jared Leto. Edit. Thanks for the paid virtual awards and points, it's Kate Day. James Charles. I can't stand the way he talks. It's like H.E.S. shouting every word. G-Easy, super creepy dude. Kept hitting on my photographer even after she declined him multiple times and said she had a kid and a man. After he left someone from his team gave her a hotel room key which she threw away. Big Sean, overall asshole. Spit at me because I was filming his wrong side. Should have walked off that job but didn't. Really the only two celebrities I've encountered that weren't professional, and or kind. It might be a cliche answer now, but. When everybody, it seemed, was watching Ellen and thinking she was this awesome person, I was so incredibly put off. And I didn't say anything mainly because I didn't want people to think I was homophobic. But the couple times I saw her talk show, I swear that smile never reached her eyes. I kept thinking, she hates being there. She hates absolutely everyone in that studio. Turns out I was right. Edit. Thank you for the award. Never thought my most upvoted Reddit comment would be about Ellen DeGeneres' dead eyes. Jay-Z and Beyonce. Feels like the image they give off is just their PR working. All TV, pastors, that live the life of luxury while asking their lower, middle-class audience for money because God will return it 10x. Kim Kardashian. I don't think she sleeps normally. She probably just stands in a dark corner like the Blair Witch Project. All the celebs who obviously had work done but refused to admit it. Oh I would never put a needle near my face. I'm already a model so why would I need that? They literally think we are not only very stupid, but also very blind. Nothing wrong with plastic surgery but please just admit it. I'm talking about nearly every top model and every Kardashian. YouTubers as well. Wendy Williams. Drake. Army Hammer he is definitely a weird guy. Elon Musk, without a doubt. From the get-go Ellen DeGeneres gave me bad vibes. I couldn't understand why so many people liked her. Tom Cruise. I would 100% not be surprised to discover that Tom Cruise murders babies and it's all covered up. Blank, Kardashian, Jenner and anyone connected to them. Simon Cowell. I mean it's pretty much a given at this point that he's a soulless eel of a man, but I reckon there's so much more that we couldn't begin to imagine. Jeff Bezos and his creepy ass laugh. He always sounds like he's laughing in mockery at the rest of the world. Jeffree Star. It's come out several times that Drake is a pedo but no one seems to care enough, that really bothers me. John Travolta, he doesn't feel human. Christina Aguilera. This isn't a vibe. It is real. I met her at a meet and greet when I was 10 years old because of my make-a-wish wish, Backstreet Boys weren't available. I was a sick kid, looked very physically sick, and she took one look at me up and down, made an EW face, but quickly faked a smile for the camera. She's a grader asshole. I should have just went to Disneyland like most kids chose for their wish. Kylie Jenner plus Travis Scott. James Corden first don't know what it is about him he just gives me bad vibes. Piers Morgan. Travis Scott. Rolf Harris long before the pedophile stuff came out always gave me a bad vibe. Even as a kid I just didn't like him, something always felt off. Leo DiCaprio. The fact that he's never had a girlfriend over 25 is unnerving, considering he's pushing 50. I sense some really nasty old man stuff down the line, once he's no longer handsome and has an identity crisis because of it.
Kevin Hart, he seems like a DCK when he's himself on TV, not in a movie or series. Chrissy Teigen. Nicardo Avocado. The mukbang YouTuber there's something seriously wrong with that guy. He needs mental help. Marilyn Manson. Dude is weird. Die ant word. Given some of the stuff that's come out about them, it's genuinely hard to tell how much of their act is just a gimmick, and how much of it is completely sincere and unironic. I don't even get the impression that they know any more. Plus, I find it creepy how little Henri Dutois, Yolande Vi Dollar Dollar Er, seems to age. I've seen the pictures of her from before Die Ant Word, and she genuinely looks no older now than she did then. She could be a vampire for all we know. Jared Leto. Serial rapey vibes. Kevin Spacey. We know he's a perv, but he really seems like he has had people murdered. Machine Gun Kelly. Amber Heard, clearly something is off about her. Dr. Oz has serious serial killer vibes. Can't believe this isn't near the top, but Mark Zuckerberg. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but if someone told me he was a lizard man in a skin suit I would just accept it as fact. Or a sentient lampshade. Guy is creepy as hell, and just about the epitome of psychopath. Managed to make a shitty website about rating girls' appearances on his college campus into one of the most powerful megacorporations on earth. What the fuck? Call me crazy but I just don't trust that Weinstein dude.